to this formation uh, as an inverted wish, wishbone, uh, reverse wishbone. Uh, it is a, a, a pistol formation. The key thing being that you have three backs in the backfield and um, uh, two on either side of Lamar. Now these two are, are uh, Y types, tight ends, full backs, um, H backs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they can be running backs in the backfield uh, and then the, the back behind Lamar. Um, the Ravens like to run it with two out wide, one to either side. Um, one of the, 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 the best things about this formation, and we'll get into de uh, a little more detail about it, uh, is how it makes the uh, defense really declare itself to you. Um, this is, you know, nine times out of ten something you're going to run from. This play we're going to look at is a short yardage uh, pickup. They're trying to get three yards or two, two and a half yards or so on a uh, third down conversion. They get it. Um, but you're going you're gonna to force the defense to declare how it's going to play on the outside. Uh, you're going to get a, a, a one, uh, one high safety here in the middle of the field, typically. And you're going to get eight, eight defenders in or around the box here to defend this run. So that's very unusual to get a formation that right away you can, you can sort of read what your, the coverage will be. Let's look at this from the end zone. You can see Lamar pull um, both the Y types, in this case tight end guys, uh, beside him, and you see this it's the uh, sort of quintessential diamond formation here. Um, this is a short yard again, a short yardage play. We need uh, two yards, I think it is. It's third down. One of the things this allows you to do in these short yardage uh, situations is get, uh, depending on the front, get it makes it easy to get a double team and leave these ends for the Y types or the H-backs out of the backfield. And that's exactly what the Ravens do here. Ronnie's allowed to let uh, to get to the second level defender uh, much more uh, with uh, greater ease because he uh, knows that one of these guys, in this case Hurst, is going to come up and get the end. And it's very decisive. Uh, a lot of weight, a lot of force behind this. Gus is going to decide where it is he needs to cut um, to pick up that two yards, and they're successful here. So... Uh, it, in this case, they're showing you they're going to run the ball. Uh, it's a very balanced formation. You can run it to either side. Uh, you can get outside of this box here because of these two H-back uh, uh, roll, fullback guys. It's just so much you can run out of this. And I anticipate a lot uh, that, that we see this a lot in 2019 and that we keep a lookout for it. A lot of that is dependent on personnel, uh, new additions, and we'll, we'll get into that. A very different call here out of this diamond formation. Um, they're not coming straight downhill, even though this is a, a third down play as well. These two H-backs are going to be on the move. Um, so what is the weak side of the formation? Ends up being play side. But you can see a little different look in that we have Pat Ricard in line, in addition to this going on in the backfield. And, uh, yeah, real heavy formation to that side. You can see just the strength being aligned um, uh, to Ricard's side here. Just this perceived strength, the Bengals kind of lining up just a little heavier to that side um, because of that, because of the inline tight end. The, uh, misdirection is huge in this, out of this formation, and, and we're, you know, we're going to get into that as well. Okay, so the two Y back, uh, uh, H back, excuse me. <laughs> Hurst is going to come out wide. That instantly is going to pull uh, a defender out of the box. Um, now, he's got to be wary that Lamar might pull this football if he crashes down and doesn't go with the uh, with the H-back, with Hurst, that he's just going to toss that ball to him and, and there's nothing but green. So he's got to go. That pulls somebody out of the box. Nick's going to come across the formation uh, and, and uh, uh, do an arc block here, which is, which is to say he's going to leave this end man. He and Lamar are both reading this end man on the line of scrimmage. Nick does this a lot, too. You'll see him kind of like flare out his arm. It's interesting. Once in a while, and I, I do have clips of it, you'll see the guy actually bite on that. Um, it, it may also not be just a, uh, uh, an effort to confuse, but, you know, this guy, if he comes up field all of a sudden, Nick will be at least able to get a hand on him. Anyway, Nick's got this arc block here on the second level. Defender, beautiful job. Hayden's going to try his best to square up, and you can see the hole there. A lot of this is misdirection. 
lot of this is the idea that um, they have weight to the side. And of course, Lamar is the X factor, just the ultimate X factor here. This formation allows so much in the way of um, subterfuge, misdirection, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's really difficult for a defense not to come screaming downhill and to really uh, take great effort in reading the backfield. You see both tight ends out this way. Um, Lamar reading the, the end man here. here. Here's what we talked about with Nick. You see Nick come around, throw this arm out. Watch the defender sort of go that direction just a little bit uh, and get kind of suckered in. But the, the Ravens run counter to this, this backfield motion here. Um, and this time they do run to strength. So I get the idea, too, with this formation that you run it two or three times in a game, you're going to have a real good idea, a real good idea of what a defense is going to do, how they're going to play it. Watch the flow. Watch the flow here. Instantly reading these two. Um, um, fullback, whatever, wise, to that side. You see Orlando, just free release, get out on the second level there. And uh, Lamar reads the end guy, gives. Matt Skura does a nice job. It's, it's really, really small, but he gets just a hand on this, this uh, linebacker who reads that hole and fills that hole. I think that's perfect. Comes off a combination. Flails a little bit, but gets the job done. See that? And uh, Burfecht's only, uh, Gus is hitting that hole hard too, man. So he's only able to just kind of grasp at his, uh, uh, sh around his shoulders, and that's not going to cut it. So you see a big pickup here. Again, this formation to me is really one we can do a lot of different tags out of. We'll get into the passing game. We'll get into the personnel. One guy I want to point out is Pat Ricard. You're going to see a Ricard a lot, <laughs> a lot in the backfield, uh, lead blocking, on power, kind of sealing the edge as a kick-out guy, but um, unless I'm wrong, we're going to see this package a lot more, and he'll be featured in that, uh, I would say. Here's the uh, end zone angle of the previous play. Watch, uh, watch the defense shift as Nick gets into the backfield here, kind of in accordance with that shift. And watch the flow. Watch the flow and the reading of these two guys getting out uh, in front of the play. That's Lamar. A lot of that's Lamar, too. You know, you have to get out in front of him, that's for sure. Watch the safety flowing. Um, and then watch Gus really hit this whole heart and just kind of just kind of get out of that arm tackle. Good, good hard run by him. Pat picks up his second level guy. Good run. I want to talk about. Um, the idea that the defense will show you um, its hand um, when, when defending this formation. Typically, you get eight in the box. We talked about this up front a little bit, but I want to get into it a little as it relates to personnel. Um, and you'll get this deep safety, middle of the field safety. Uh, and then you'll get man-to-man -man, uh, variations on the outside. So you're getting one-on-one -on -one looks on the, on the perimeter. That's interesting. Uh, it's interesting in any light, but particularly with the personnel uh, we now are, are uh, we now have on, t on the team. Uh, Mark, I'm talking about Marquise Brown and uh, Miles Boykin. And Boykin's a tough cover one-on-one. -on -one. He's also a tough open field tackle. Um, and then you have to really, really think carefully about pressing a, a receiver like um, uh, Marquise out of this formation. Uh, so you're going to have uh, these screens and these underneath looks and these little hitches, uh, maybe quick outs uh, available to him where he, you can, on a screen, just make this guy have to catch Marquise in space. The other thing is you run enough of this underneath stuff, these quick hits to him, um, you're going to start, this, this defender is going to start coming a little bit further out uh, here, which opens up the run even that that much more, or could you'll start to see that. Remember, I remember I said if you start to run out, play from this formation two or three times in a game, you're going to get a real clear picture of how how the defense has a game plan, and uh, you can start to exploit that. 
Um, you start to run this underneath stuff to, to Marquise. He's going to be um, starting to set up the uh, defender for a double move. And, um, there was a, a, a double move he pulled in, in college where he just sunk his hips just a little uh, to give the illusion that he was going to cut in or run a curl. And the deep safety just didn't bite hard. He took a little like half step toward that, that fake. And, and uh, Marquise came out of it. And that, that little half step was enough to cost them. He just blew right by the, uh, the middle of the field safety. But we're talking about space here. Um, also the idea of Justice Hill out of the backfield. If you get Justice and you get um, Lamar, boy, you've got some speed on the edge. Um, the other thing in terms of a pass play, setting this up to pass, you've got the option of keeping – if you want all three of these guys in in a max protect sort of look, you could keep two of them in, uh, uh, swing justice out um, to either side. Uh, you could swing him out and then have him run a wheel. I mean, there's just so much here with this much space uh, and the ability to protect. You could keep one of them in in protection uh, and then run another out wide to take uh, uh, to take attention away from a a, uh, a screen or a um, Swing to justice. There's just so much, and um, you know, I always get in trouble. I find myself kind of thinking or trying to think of these plays and these play designs as if the Ravens haven't thought of it a million times. Um, but but the personnel is such that they really can exploit a defense showing itself this way from this formation. So I'm very very curious to see what we see run out of it. This is um, again kind of typical to what we've seen. Lamar opens up. Lamar and Nick have such a, uh, uh, a good relationship here reading this end man. He kind of has to identify it just along, along with Lamar. Lamar and Nick gets out and turns. Hayden gets tries to square up here. Uh, good blocking downfield. Um, so re really, the, again, Lamar, Justice out of the backfield. Uh, Pat coming out of the backfield. Um, just really exciting um, to see what might be. If we start to consider um, pulling linemen, you know, guards and tackles, and, and, and along with misdirection out of the backfield, it's really uh, a listless proposition. You know, that, that is, you, I couldn't list all the different tags and, and, and uh, variations you might run out of this. Um, here they, they throw a nice play fake from McSorley. Again, you see, this is the second time they ran from this formation. You see this flow uh, to this side. Following the, following the, uh, the H-backs, everybody comes to that side. And then Masorley does a nice fake, gets the ball out quickly. This guy overcommits, but even if he hadn't, he's going to have to make a one-on-one -on -one tackle playing off coverage. And say this is Marquise, he might be off to the races here. In any case, it, it, it's a... Really nice pickup, second down and one. You know they're they're over committing to the run clearly here. This guy, uh, again, he starts to see a throw out wide. He's going to have to stay out there a little longer, and this edge becomes all that more, or that second level becomes all that more compromised to set up to be run on. Um, yep, yep. So the, the the main thing I like, apart from us, just with Lamar being able to run. The additions, Justice, um, Pat Ricard, uh, coming to, to more of a prominent role, and the two two rookie wideouts. I think um, it, it bears watching.